Hello my good Irish football fan TV, this is the squad reaction uh, straight after Stephen Kenny's press conference uh, I'm just sitting outside Abbottstown here and uh, I just said I'd do a little reaction video on the squad, I have it on my phone here um, so in case you think I'm just looking down, it's just looking at names um, I suppose we'll start off with the goalkeepers, I mean absolutely no surprises there um, Kelleher, Bazunu and Travers uh, Travers probably having the best season out of the three considering you know getting promoted and uh, having the most clean sheets with Bournemouth as they got promoted uh, Gavin Bazuna we know he had a good season at Portsmouth as well and has a lot of suitors it looks like he's going to be going to someone uh, very soon as well um, it's uncertain of who that is right now but it looks like it's going to be Southampton but no, nothing confirmed so far uh, Kelleher had a great season won the League Cup with uh, Liverpool and played in the final obviously and then um, you know, he won the, the FA Cup and came second in the Premier League, albeit he probably didn't play as much as he probably would have hoped, but um, he's still kind of in and around that elite environment with Liverpool, which has obviously served him so well so far in his career. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, like Stephen went on to say, how much of a dilemma it's going to be with the goalkeeper. So that could even mean that maybe even Travers could play, but he did also mention that... Um, you know, he he doesn't really see himself rotating the goalkeeper unless he has to. Maybe someone gets injured or maybe they're ill. Um, so, yeah, it looks as though uh, if he's picking a goalkeeper, he's probably going to choose one. But it will be interesting to see because we know Kelleher played the last couple of games uh, with Bazuna being out and Travers didn't play at all, which is, you know, mad because he's probably out of the three probably had the best season of the three it's it's such a bizarre situation with the goalkeepers and you'd you'd feel sorry for any of them who who don't get a run to be fair um probably more so travers because he's been turning up to squads even since the earliest days he's probably been there the longest out of the three keepers um and hasn't really he had the one game against serbia and we know what happened in that game uh hasn't had really a chance to rectify that in an irish jersey but hopefully he will soon um because he's a great lad and then the defenders i mean there's no real surprises with this um, Obafemi out I don't think he's still injured um, Coleman Christie Stevens, Manning McLean Duffy Egan uh, Nathan Collins Darrell Lenehan and uh, Darrell O'Shea I mean we're kind of blessed in that area that all our defenders have been doing quite well Nathan Collins probably since Lithuania has probably been our best centre back if you look at it uh, overall in terms of his performances with Burnley, he's probably unlucky to get relegated. He had a, an excellent game against Spurs, albeit they were beaten, but he himself had an excellent uh, performance against Spurs and got man of the match against Lithuania, as I said, uh, scored the goal against Everton, um, which helped them win 3-2 in that game. And uh, yeah, he scored a couple of other goals and just had big performances, I felt, for Burnley. And I think he'll be on the move this summer. I think if anyone with a bit of sense, we'll, we'll go in for him. Um, so I think he, he, you know, he, he could come in and play like he's playing more than Shane Duffy is at the moment. Um, you know, John Egan, Shane Duffy, Seamus Coleman, all leaders in there. Cyrus Christie makes sense, but I also think it makes sense the fact that he's been playing with Michael Obafemi at Swansea as well, which will allow you know Michael to kind of come in and get settled with the squad. Albeit he would have played with some of the others in the squad as well, but I just think it'll uh, it'll work out well for for him in that sense. And uh, I think he's the obvious one to come in just because he has that bit of experience of playing in the Nations League uh, Dan McNamara could probably feel a little bit hard done by that he's not getting a run there but um, I think overall I can't really complain like Darrell Lenehan had an excellent season in the Championship as well I'm pretty sure he got into the team of the season um, he might get a run and he might get a move because it looks like he's been touted to be kind of on the move this summer as well so uh, great to see Ender Stevens come back in James McLean has had his best season in a few years with Wigan getting promoted and uh, having a really good season uh, midfield I suppose you, you could say maybe no surprises at all there but like who else could he really brought in and you Connor Howard in there um, Josh Cullen I think you know walks in the team then you've got Hendrick Malumbi Brown and Knight so I think there's definitely positions up for grabs there with uh, with Howard and Hendrick uh, Malumbi Brown I still think Knight would probably get into the team if we're you know if you're looking at a starting team I think Knight gets in there um, somewhere anyway whether that's a, in an advanced position um, on th off the kind of off the striker a bit like he's played previously or whether that's in centre midfield we'll have to wait and see on that one but uh, yeah I, I can't really complain there um, you know maybe the lack of minutes in midfield could be a problem but we will kind of address that when it comes to it but overall I can't, like, I can't really fault it uh, then in forwards um, Callum Robinson Coming off a really good season, he's done really well for Ireland. Same with Troy Parrott um, in recent games. 
Um, Scott Hogan, hmm, I'm not mad about him, but like, look, he's in the squad. Let's see what he can do. He done all right against Lithuania, but uh, again, I just don't think that he is the answer. But again, I would love to be proven wrong in that sense. Will Keane probably, well, definitely had the best season of all our Irish players in terms of his goals and assists uh, and getting promoted with Wigan as well. Um, Chiodosi Ogbeni, he's been excellent for Ireland. Uh, had a really good, strong end to the season getting promoted. Won the Papa John's trophy as well. He's coming in in really good form. Michael Obafemi's coming in on really good form. I think everyone... Uh, watching I suppose the end of the season really wanted to see Obafemi in the squad and now we have him in the squad so that's brilliant Hamilton at Blackpool um, only really um, kind of registered for Ireland recently so it's interesting to see that he's straight in Stephen Kenny obviously is a fan of his and, and he's been monitoring how he's been playing at Blackpool as well so um, I don't really know a whole lot about Hamilton but I will do my homework on him uh, as we're going to go into this international window and kind of get a, a kind of feel of who he is and, and what he's about um, and what type of player he is and then lastly is Festio Ebazelli who probably was unlucky not to get into the last um, squad but the 21s um, he was in there as well I think he got injured or something happened anyway where he wasn't in the squad but he's in this you know senior squad now he's going to Udinese this is a real chance for him to make his mark and if he can do well on the international stage it might set him up for a good season with uh, Udinese and they may not decide to maybe send him out alone they might just actually try to give him a run and see how he gets on and that's exciting I think I, if I look at the squad overall I'm quite happy with it uh, Aaron Connolly has had a heel issue so he's out of the squad uh, he ruled himself out so the um, he would be the only one Adam Ede is out injured at the moment so I don't think he'll be he'll be getting a look in so overall I have to say I'm quite happy with the squad but um, I'd be interested to see, see you know what your reaction is and uh, I know there's, there's people out there who have actually come out and been quite positive about this squad so uh, let us know is there anyone that you would have liked maybe come in who, who's maybe missed out like a you know a Jamie McGrath who's probably been unlucky since he's gone to Wigan that he hasn't played as much and I think if he was playing he'd probably be in the squad or Conor Ronan coming off um, player of the season Season for for um, St Mirren so yeah let us know your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe as well and uh, I'll speak to you all soon thanks for watching